everyone. Welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to take a look at how you can build an AI agent with authentication. So what we're going to be leveraging is LangGraph and Auth0. With that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've actually been waiting for this to come out for a while. I really like Auth0 stuff, and the fact that you can actually have authentication through Auth0 in your agentic workflows and AI agents is super cool in my opinion. So they mentioned it about a month ago and uh, it being in developer preview, but then they actually released a, uh, uh, a project. So you can use Langchain, Llama Index, uh, GenKit, which is another thing that I'm super into right now, uh, and then the AI SDK by Vercel. They also allow like fast API, so they're really focusing on both JavaScript and Python, which is great for, uh, for building AI applications. So what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna take their project and we'll um, go through how you can set it up. So what this means is you're gonna have a user, you're gonna have your AI agent, and then you can use auth to either pull from the uh, external entities, so being able to log in directly with, uh, for instance, Google, but then also get access based on things like Slack or uh, Gmail, iCalendar or Gcalendar, or, uh, as well as like Google Drive, and then actually be able to chat with it as an assistant. So in their blog post, they uh, talk about how you can actually use tool calling to pull that information back and how you can set up your Auth0 uh, AI SDK or even just use the Auth0 uh, Next.js SDK. We're gonna pull this repo down and we're going to get it set up and I'll walk you through steps of how you can actually set this up with Auth0. So you're gonna need an Auth0 account and what we'll be doing is basically creating this uh, this repo. And I'll, I'll put this blog post in the description. But first things first, let's go ahead and, and go into uh, Auth0. So if you go ahead and click sign up or log in, whichever one works. And once you're in here, you just want to go ahead and create an application. So I actually already have an application. Uh, you can just do like a regular application if you want, but you need to go ahead and create an application. Once you create an application, you're gonna go ahead and look at your settings. So they have like this quick start. Um, you can go ahead and, and kind of quick click, blah, click through that and just start with your settings. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that this Gen AI is a specific type of domain that gives you access. So you're gonna need your domain, your client ID, and your client secret. And then you're also going to need to set up uh, the Google uh, authentication so that you can actually have a, um, a uh, you can actually have to set up a Google application so that you can actually log in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take this information and we're going to go ahead and sign into our Google uh, backend account. So right here, I'm in the Google Auth platform, I'm setting up a client and I'm creating a client. All you need to do is just click web application and it'll give you the <clears throat> authorized uh, JavaScript and, and everything else. So I'm actually going to show you the account that I made and all you need to do is take your domain from Auth0 and put it into your authorized JavaScript origins. Then you wanna have an authorized redirect. So this is actually sending back to uh, Auth0 and what you're gonna be doing is just saying, same as the domain and then just log in callback. And that's really all you need to do. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a client ID and then you're also going to need your client secrets. Once you have that information, you can actually pull that back into Auth0 and set up your credentials. So you have your client C. This is the client secret for Auth0 specifically. Again, something we're going to need. But if you go into connections, 
this is where you can actually have your auth zero connection and that's where you're gonna have to set up your um, connection directly to to your OAuth of this application. The other thing that you should do is in inside of the uh, Google Con console, you should go ahead and enable the Google Calendar API. So we're gonna specifically pull back some information on that. And you can do that by going into the enabled APIs. So on that same page where we were with credentials, just go up and click on enabled APIs. You can actually uh, click enable it'll take you to here and you can actually just search for whatever apis you want and we want uh, this one so this is already enabled on my uh, on my machine that's why it says manage you'll have to click enable and that's it that should allow you to be able to connect your uh, your account to those uh, APIs. What it's saying is that your auth credential will allow you to go out and call and give you the scopes for that particular uh, system. And so in the auth zero setting, when you look at the connections, this is where you're going to have to paste in your client ID and your client secret. And then again, we're going to be assigning our permissions we need to have offline access, basic profile and extended profile come by default, and then built into Auth0, we actually have calendar. You can add more of these if you want. So these are ones that are built in and will automatically try and give you these scopes. So again, by default, they have uh, calendar, Gmail, Drive, Sheets, Slides, Contacts. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here, including actually being able to connect to YouTube as well. So you could pull back, you could log in and chat uh, your, with your YouTube analytics. So now that we have all of this set up, what we're gonna do in, in OAuth or Auth0 is we're actually gonna take this information and we're going to put it into the project. So over here in GitHub, you're gonna wanna go ahead and clone this Auth0 Assistant0. You can see it's a pretty fresh project. There's still some things that are coming soon. So the ability to uh, get Slack notifications and access to your Google Drive, they haven't built in yet. And we'll kind of show how that's actually happening. So the other piece is that this is allowing security into uh, frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index, and Vercel AI. And then what they're doing is they're using Auth Zero's token vault and Auth uh, Gen AI to actually, when you're using your tools, to allow make sure that you have scope access to pull the information that you're looking to access. And so, what we're going to do is let's look at the project and we'll kind of go through how you need to set this up. So, go ahead and clone this down, and then we're going to take a look here. So. First things first is that information that we were talking about before, you need to go ahead and save and uh, .env.local and put in all the information. So your base URL is just gonna be where you're hosting. Right now we're just gonna be looking at local hosts. You need an auth secret. They actually give you this command here. So it's an open SSL uh, random hex. Run this in your terminal and that will give you your secret. Your domain, this is uh, what we were talking about earlier where we actually can put the, the domain from OAuth or Auth0 in here, as well as your client ID and your client secret. I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like when we actually trace. So I went ahead and enabled LangSmith and LangChain. And you can also do uh, other things like if you wanna use Anthropic or, or something else. Again, this SERP tool is required if you want to actually go out and search the web um, but it's, it's not necessarily required. So let's kind of take a look at the application. So I actually already have it running. This is all you need to get it up and running. So I actually have it running. We're going to take a look at that and then we'll kind of dive through the code. So 
This is, we're running on localhost. This is the actual assistant. We're gonna go ahead and log in. It's gonna make us log in through the Auth0 that we just set up. So as we can see, this is happy nerding. We're logging into this domain and we've got our uh, Google authentication. All right, so now it's asking me to log in. It's gonna start asking me about scope, right? So we saw this back in Auth0. We have enabled the calendar. So we're going to allow. And now it's asking if this email can get be authorized through Auth0. We're gonna go ahead and say allow. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. Also, I wanted to show you a gen kit boilerplate that I've been working on. Real quick, this is another project that I'm working on. It's a Firebase and Next.js starter kit that comes with AI-powered apps. And so what this allows you to do is get up and running with Firebase, Next.js, and gen kit, as well as pre-built AI components. So some of the things that focused on or the ability to actually start with uh, AI first mindset and built in prompt instructions so that you can actually build new features, build new blog posts, build documentation, and actually integrate directly into a chatbot that is built with a chat interface as well as content generation and different prompts. So if you sign up now, there's actually a discount going on where you can get 90% off and this will fluctuate by uh, this also comes with a social proof, which allows you to do dynamic discounts. Right now we're offering 90% off. So definitely check it out and don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get back to it. All right, and so now it actually redirected us back to our local host and you can actually see we're logged in. So it's pulling in my uh, basic information for my profile. We have a new uh, information and it's actually even telling us like where the prompt is, uh, what it's, what it has access to, what can you help me with? So let's just start with what can you help me with? And then we're actually gonna try and pull some information back from. All right, so we can kind of see it's streaming information. It's telling us what it can answer. It tells us that it can do email management. It can, we can search for email create drafts and actually manage our account. We can even pull information back from our calendar. So we know that we are able to do this. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, uh, what events do I have this week? And so now we want it to actually go out to find our information. And you can see that we actually, this is a real calendar event uh, that I have this Tuesday, which is uh, with Data Freelancer. If you haven't checked out Data Lumina and Dave, uh, definitely an awesome, awesome person to follow. Uh, super helpful when it comes to data science. So this is actually pulling information back. So we've now authenticated, we've, and we're actually pulling our own data based on the login through our AI agent. So we're actually leveraging the Google scope. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back and we're gonna actually look at the code. So as we saw, the first thing that we noticed when we logged in or was that they were telling us to go look at this particular route. And so what's happening here is it's actually giving us our prompt, your personal assistant you can help with all these questions, very long prompt. It doesn't actually talk about any specific tools other than the fact that it says you have a set of tools and use those tools as needed. So in here, what we can see is we're using the uh, Vercel AI, we're using Lane Chain as well, and then we're using OpenAI and we're using different tools. So some of the tools that we have access to are the calendar, we also have the SERP tool, then we have Gmail as well as uh, the calendar tool. So we can create an event and we can view an event in this way. 
So when we look down here, what's actually happening is we've got our LLM just like we normally do with LangChain, but we can start to see that we have our access tokens. So what we actually have is we have our Google access token, which is actually coming from our Auth0 library. And then we're actually taking that information, we're passing our parameters, we're saying what our Google Calendar parameters are, and then we're actually sending that to each one of these tools. And again, this is great because these tools are provided in LangChain, so we don't have to go out and buy our own or build our own tool. We can actually leverage the tools that we have here. So again, when you download this, you can play around with creating a new, an email draft, you can search your email, we could create a new event, um, and maybe we'll try that. But what, what this is doing then is it's allowing these, it's telling these that they have the permissions, right? We have our credentials, and we know that we've gotten these credentials because we've leveraged it through our access token here. And then we go through our normal kind of lane graph information. So we're actually creating a React agent. We're streaming all of our information. We're logging our tools. And we're actually uh, uh, streaming our response. So let's go back and create. We'll do another. Uh, we'll try and create an event. Create an event to make a YouTube video on Vercel AI and Auth0. So in the next video, I wanted to show how you can actually create your own tools. You pull your own information and actually do it uh, for, um, for Vercel. So now we can actually, we've created an event. We can actually see all right, so it, it did it for later today, but still pretty cool that it, it actually created it on the calendar, gave us a little link back of what we were doing. So now let's take a look at uh, what's actually happening in Langsmith. So if we come in here and we have our Auth0 uh, assistant, we can take a look at our runnable sequences. So all of this is what's been happening today. So this is where we started with our runnable sequence of what can you help me with? And it's going out, it's taking the prompt as well as calling out to OpenAI and seeing what uh, we can actually get back. In this particular sequence, this uh, same, this is the what events can you help me with? Or what events do I have this week? So again, coming back out with this sequence, but then right here we actually have the calendar view of the tool. So this is our tool name, this is our call, this is the prompt that we're actually sending, and the information that we're getting back is then going to be put into our, uh, the information that we respond with, right? And so this is what a, a runnable sequence looks like for the tool, uh, and then this is where it's actually gonna show the events, so now it's showing us the, the prompt. So it's got the human readable information. It's showing what the output should be. This is where we're actually trying to pull the information back from our uh, system. We've got that output. And let's go see uh, where we created an event. If so one of the things we could have done was maybe say that this uh, was Eastern Standard Time and to uh, adjust for that time zone because it's probably picking up UTC. Cool. And so that's a uh, how you can actually trace and debug the tool that you are actually leveraging with Auth0, LangChain, LangGraph, a little bit of Vercel and a little bit of um, the AI SDK. All right, that's it for us today, everyone. So what we went through was how you can actually wire up your Gen AI applications with LangGraph and Auth0 so you can protect your agent flows. With that, happy nerding.